Much love and many blessings. Another blessed and amazing Venus Day. Uh, we're coming off of the... Well, we're not coming off of... We're still really receiving the energy from the new moon in Aquarius. Uh, today, this Venus Day, this Friday, uh, the moon has shifted uh, to Pisces. Um, you may or may not realize the benefit of that. But it's actually very powerful just because of how Pisces energy works. And how it provides us that emotional energy to be able to bridge um, illusions over into reality. And really, if you look at uh, the symbology or just definition-wise, what illusion and reality is, that's actually a very powerful thing. Because within illusions, the only thing that's really different between illusion and reality is the stimulation of the senses. So, depending on how many of our senses are stimulated or impacted or the severity of the impact, we can believe an illusion or an illusion can be our reality. So, fitting that coming off of this pivotal portal with this new moon in Aquarius, we're seeding these intentions to see what it is that truly makes us happy what can we get more of and can we see those intentions without the connection or the need or the feelings or obligation to let those things be diminished or shrunk down for the sake of ourselves with this recent portal in aquarius and the new moon um, we're finding an easier time dropping off the emotions and obligations um, where before we might have been seemingly stagnant or felt like ourselves always came second or what do other people think? What do these people think in our situation? So um, with that kind of coinciding and what just really transpired during um, the new moon in Aquarius and now we're in the uh, moon in Pisces. This Pisces energy has us in our fields. It has us really um, coming to terms with uh, what it is that we're feeling are we two in our heads and how are we letting this energy spill out into the world? Neptune energy tends to have a the ability to wash over so um, We have to we can really get caught up in uh, What it is that we desire or really want for ourselves? During this time So I want to pull an intuitive message from spirit. Uh, we're definitely connecting um creating this unconditional love space free of judgment and biases so that we can receive a clear message past perceptions of the conscious past perceptions of the ego past perceptions that the answer has to come exactly the way that we want it to come and not how it needs to be given in its truest true form for our sakes so channel messages we have the two of cups or two of chalices the Knight of Wands and the Stars. Now, the Stars has been coming up as a theme this weekend spreads, uh, both personal and otherwise. With Stars being here, there's definitely a call for those desires and those wishes and those dreams that we really um, believe that there's not a lot of energy or direct influence to be able to make it a reality. When you when you see the Stars, you usually can think almost like miracles or some type of miraculous healing or some type of nectar or some type of divine nectar. So this energy is also, you know, that this is coming from a source or a place that is pure or at least supposed to be pure because nectar is a concentrate and Yoni juice or nectar is a very concentrated energy, it's very sacred energy, assuming that your pH and your body chemistry is in alignment and assuming that you're taking in the right nutrients within your body. So. With SARS being here, there's also a call too to realize that what is the source of this energy? Um, are we able to actually manifest and embody the hopes that we truly want for ourselves? And Aquarius energy asks us to do just that, to hope and to dream, to be able to see beyond further than what we have limited ourselves to. To take the energy that we have and simply just allow for the possibility of a good idea. Yes, Good ideas and hopes and inspirations are not the only thing required to make a reality, but it is the stuff, it is the catalyst for blessings. It is the catalyst for positivity and positive manifestation. So we have the Two of Cups, as well as the message of the Knight of Wands, with the Two of Cups being here, definitely an element of water. This is also a union. So this is also asking you to think of 
new friendships or just the connections of people who are coming into your space um, is promoting or confirming from spirit or just signs within your space, if you've been experiencing signs, that there's a strong friendship and the people that you're meeting can be very beneficial to you. They're a complimentary. They're, it's almost inseparable or feeling that there's a good joy or shared interest that is coming from this. With the Knight of Wands here's confirmation, this being wands being very fiery, very fast movement, this is also denoting or letting you know that a person or a person coming into your space may be coming fast and may be coming unexpected, but it may be just the actual energy you need to kickstart or to ignite that fire to create what you thought could only be a miracle or hope within your space. So also I want to say with this Knight of Fire being here as well. Now, if somebody is also very well endowed or that their energy is available to accomplish a lot of things, um, this may be also a person that has come unexpectedly, seeing as it's not the king of wands. Uh, so this either is a person entering your life or some element that you wish to embody within yourself because it may be a personal thing that you, uh, aspect that you've never had a chance to embody the missing half of yourself that may seem foreign to you and you've always put that aspect off because other people have told you that hey you know um what it usually comes down to the bottom line like most things is what do other people think what do people external what external projections are operating that take priority outside of myself outside of the energy that i desire for myself so as we take this divine breath today we really want to bring attention to the energy that we're, we've been experiencing since we've initiated the new moon portal, whether consciously or through ritual enactment, um, meditate on the energies that are transpiring and seeding and what feelings that we're feeling within our body and what's connecting with us during this time to really bring awareness to the rapid movement of people and energies coming into our energy space and ask ourselves, is it really bringing me that joy that I desire or is it something that I need to separate from? But the Two of Cups is also an inseparable feeling or finding that missing partner or a person in your space to complement and bring in those rich energies that you've been desiring. It's time to set your sights on the stars. Or another way of putting it is it's time to open your horizons and to see beyond your current situation, to dream bigger, and to allow for people and energies being presented to not judge them and hold cynicisms. Allow a space for joy. Allow a space for that which you truly want. Stop holding your breath. Stop diminishing the opportunity for something good to happen within your space because this is a confirmation that good things are actually taking place if you simply allow them and actually acknowledge that they exist within your energy field. Much love and many blessings. Definitely hope that you enjoyed this intuitive message on this Venus Day right after going on uh, the, the post of the new moon Aquarius. There's a lot of energy transpiring this February. Valentine's is underway. Uh, we should be experiencing that this weekend. So definitely expect the uncanny, but enjoy the unexpected and the surprises with the unique and the weird. Enjoy what could be different during this time so that you can embrace new elements and new miracles within your space. Much love and many blessings and ashe.